The Bible tells us there are spirits that can cause sickness and infirmities in our lives. In Luke 13, verse 10 to 13, the Bible says, And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years, and was bent over, and could in no way raise herself up. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loose from your infirmity. And he laid his hand on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. The book of Luke says she had a spirit of infirmity. That means a sickness caused by an evil spirit, or is crippled by an evil spirit. The spirit of infirmity is an enemy who caused people to be crippled with physical and spiritual, emotional, and mental challenges. Can we overcome the spirits of infirmity? Can we resist certain attempts to afflict us with incurable disease? Yes, we can. It is God's will that we be free from sickness, disease, and all that Satan brings. To overcome the spirit of infirmity, Jesus has given us the authority over all demons. In Luke 10, verse 17 to 20, the Bible says, When the 72 disciples returned, they joyfully reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Yes, he told them. I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven. To fight the spirit of infirmity, we have to submit to God. The Bible says in James 4 verse 7, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The reasons you have to submit to God, because many of the infirmities we deal with, comes from the devil. You submit to God when you submit to his word. When his word has first place in your life. When you hide his word in your heart. Their authority to resist Satan flows from your submission to God's word. Not only must we submit to Jesus, but we must also resist the devil and all his works. It is not the will of God for us to be defeated by infirmities. That's why Jesus went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. We resist the devil by faith. We declare our victory over his work and his agents. We command evil spirit to come out in their will. If demons have moved in on you, and they have launched a full-scale attack on you and your life, then you will have to go on the offensive and take them out by the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. If you do not go to the offensive and take them out by the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit, and they will stay right where they are, and they will continue to attack, harass, and torment you until you are willing to do something about it. If you are plagued by incurable disease, Take authority over the devil, command them to live, then begin to speak healing words to your body. Command that body to become whole. Your body is God's temple. He wants to be glorified in it. Tonight we're going to pray against spirit of infirmity. We're going to decree and healing over spirit of infirmity tonight. And every demon of infirmity will go in the name of Jesus. A declaration of healing. It is God's will to heal and deliver the sick and tormented, and that He has revealed the fullness of His healing purpose in His Son Jesus Christ. It is God's nature to work redemptively to heal by every possible means, because His mercy and loving kindness are ever open to provide grace for the relief of human need, pain, misery, and sin. Because I believe this, I praise our Creator who has made all things well affirming that all sickness and pain is contrary to his will and desire for mankind and has only come because of man's fallen condition. I declare thanksgiving to him that despite every effort of hell to steal, kill, and destroy, the Father has appointed multiple heavens of refuge from sickness and pain through climate and diet. The efforts of mankind through hospitals, doctors, and medicine and the divine means of healing gifts distributed by the Holy Spirit and ministered in the name of Jesus. I believe in the power of Jesus Christ to heal the sick and afflicted and to break through bondage when his name is invoked in any circumstance. 
his power is as consistently available today as it was during Jesus' own earthly ministry, and that through his cross, he provided the grounds for us to expect and receive healing and deliverance as surely as we may receive forgiveness and sanctification. Because I believe this, I accept the ministry of healing as part of Jesus' commission to go to the whole world with the gospel. I proclaim God's will and power to heal, the power of Jesus' name in prayers of faith, and that confession of sins brings deliverance. I affirm the authority of elders to anoint with oil, and the practice of laying of hands on the sick that they may recover. I believe in the power of God's word and spirit to sustain and supply health when those who believe walk simply and humbly before him in faith. I believe the fruit of such faith will be manifest in love and patience, and so I reject any attitude that induces guilt when a believer in Jesus does not seem to be able to receive physical healing or personal deliverance from sickness or any other torment. Because I believe this, I am convinced the good fight of faith will prevail until health. I am equally convinced that in any case where victory is not immediately evidence, that a victor of another order is being realized by the divine grace of the Almighty. With such faith as this, I move in the ministry of prayer, of faith and healing, so that Jesus Christ is glorified, and in all circumstances, His church is edified. Revelation 21 verse 4, And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no sorrow, no crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Long and abundant life is God's designed lifestyle for His children in the covenant. Every genuine son and daughter of God is under eternal covenant of long and abundant life. God designed life to be lived in order to fulfill His own purpose and will. With this in mind, He committed Himself to satisfying us with a long life. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 91 verse 16. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come boldly before your throne of mercy and grace seeking healing for my body. Lord, your word said that you are God that heals us of all disease, of all sickness. You say that you will take my sickness away from me. Your word says you desire above all things that we prosper and be in good health. Therefore now that is your will for me to be in good health. Therefore in the name of Jesus I come against this spirit of infirmity that is trying to overtake me and render it helpless in the mighty name of Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus, I bound every spirit of sickness and disease, every spirit of infirmity that the enemy is trying to use against my life in any way. By the authority of Jesus Christ, I pull down every stronghold of the adversary against my body and command him to flee from every area of my body as well as my life in the name of Jesus. Satan, I render you helpless, powerless, and ineffective against my body in the name of Jesus. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Therefore you will not overcome me, for I have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. And I say to you, by the strap of Jesus of Nazareth, I am healed. Father, you see, if we have faith as small as a grain of a mustard seed, we could speak to the mountain and it will be removed. So I speak to my mountain of sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be removed, uprooted and cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. I command it to die at the root and never to spring up again by the authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I claim total restoration of every organ, every cell, every part of my body in the name of Jesus, and my body will function in perfection the way God had made it to. Heavenly Father, I ask that by your power, touch my body and heal me from all form of sickness and disease. Heal my organs and every tissue in my body so that my body can function in the perfection to which you created it to function. Thank you, Father. And may I bless you and serve you for the rest of my life with my renewed health in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, you say that whatever I bind on earth will be bound on heaven, and whatever I loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. I bind all sickness and disease that is attacking my body, and I command it to flee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Father, I also ask you to release divine health upon my body. Thank you for healing me in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in Isaiah 53, you say that on the cross, Jesus took our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Your word says, by his wounds we are healed. I am claiming that healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High God under the shadow of the Almighty. God, I abide and remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ upon my body and release his deliverance power right now in Jesus' mighty name. I am the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. My righteousness came by faith in the finished work of Jesus and not by my own works. My righteousness speaks and declares that I am holy ground, bought and owned by the Lord Jesus Christ. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. I am healed. I was healed at the cross by the strap of Jesus. Jesus has already taken my infirmities. He has already borne my sicknesses. I need not bear them. I have been healed since I was saved. My healing is eternal. Nothing can change that. I am not sick trying to be healed. I am healed, resisting the symptoms of infirmities and disease. I have been bought with a price. Therefore, I will glorify God in my body. Sickness is an unholy enemy trying to stand on holy ground, and a trespasser on sacred property, and a thief in the temple of the Holy Spirit. God has sent His word to heal me and deliver me from all my afflictions. His promises are medicines and healing to all flesh. The anointing of the Holy Spirit has been sent to heal every part of my being, my emotions, and physical. Father, I surrender my emotions to you. I surrender my physical body to you. Father, I surrender my mind to you, every part of my soul in need of healing. God, I surrender it, and I put it under the Lordship of Jesus. Holy Spirit, release your power and your manifest presence inside my body right now. The same Holy Spirit who raised Jesus from the dead quickens my life to my mortal body. No plague can come near my dwelling because I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Jesus, you are my covenant healer. By your stripes I am healed. Sickness, I command you to leave my body now in Jesus' name. I receive Jesus as my personal healer, just as I receive him in my Lord and Savior. The power to resist sickness lives inside me. You bore my sicknesses in your own body on the tree, and because of that I am dead to sins. Shall live unto righteousness, by whose stripes I am healed. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of God in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore I forbade any sickness or disease to come upon my body. Every disease and every virus that touches my body dies instantly in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare every organ and every tissue in my body functions in the perfection to which God created it to function, and I forbade any malfunction in my body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every cell that does not promote life and health in my body is cut off from its life source. My immune system will not allow tumors or growth to live in my body in the name of Jesus Christ. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I command my body to release the right chemicals. My body is in perfect chemical balance. My pancreas secretes the proper amount of insulin for life and health. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I forbid my body to be deceived in any way. My body will not be deceived by any virus or disease. Neither will work against life or health in any way. Every cell of my body supports life and health. I speak to my muscles, to my bones and joints. I call you no more in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My muscles, my bones and joints will not respond to any disease or injury. For God promised of 1 Peter 2 verse 24, He carried away our sins in His own body on the cross, so we can be dead to sins and live for what is right. I have been healed by his wounds. God promises permeate every muscle, bone, and joint in my body with life and health. Jesus Christ bore my sickness and carried my pain. Therefore I give no place to sickness or pain. For God sent his word and I am healed. Father, your word has become a part of me. It flows to every cell in my body, restoring and transferring my health. Your word has become flesh. For you sent your word and healed me. My heart is normal. My heart beats with the rhythm of life, carrying the life of God through my body, restoring life and health abundantly. 
I have a strong heart. Every heartbeat floods my body with life and cleanses me of disease and pain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my arteries will not shrink or become clogged. My arteries are clean. My immune system grows stronger day by day. I speak life to my immune system. I forbid confusion in my immune system. The Holy Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in me and quickens my immune system with the life and wisdom of God, which guards the life and health of my body. Jesus, I know you have heard my prayer and forgiving all my iniquities and healed me from all my disease. Father, you sent your word to heal and rescue me from the grave. As I seek a right relationship with you, your light breaks forth like the morning and brings forth in me restoration and the power of new life. As I revere your name, you will arise with healing in your wings and I will go forth and leap with joy. Your favor surrounds me as a shield so I know that no weapon or disease formed against me will prevail, for this is my inheritance as your child. Anything that has not been planted by you shall be torn up by the roots. I thank you, Father, because what the enemy has hidden in darkness you have exposed and covered with your precious blood. The blood of the spotless lamb is on the doorpost of my soul, and the deaf angels cannot penetrate it. Any sickness inherited from my family background out of my life tonight in Jesus' name, good health walk into my life now in the name of jesus to god be all the glory amen